Well, hello again and welcome to Play PKN, the weekly video bulletin of the top news stories on PKN Packaging News, Australia's media hub for the packaging industry. I'm PKN's publisher, Lindy Houston, and this week's episode is brought to you by Ball and Doggett, Australia's largest distributor of printable materials for packaging and the creator of the Ecoporium by Ball and Doggett platform. We'll start with some big investment news from the beverage sector, with Coca-Cola Euro-Pacific Partners, that's CCEP, giving a $105 million boost to its warm-fill beverage filling capacity at its Moorabbin plant in Victoria. The new warm-fill line, to be supplied by Crohn's, marks the biggest single investment in the company's manufacturing network. This new line adds to CCEP's existing warm-fill capability at its plants in Richlands, Queensland and Kewdale, Western Australia. Dedicated to filling the Powerade and Fuse Tea product ranges, the new system will be capable of delivering up to 640 bottles per minute and when operating at full capacity will increase the site's overall capacity by an additional 23%. The investment is in response to growing demand for sports beverages, a category in which Powerade is the market-leading brand, accounting for nearly half of the category's value and volume sales. Construction on the facility will start this month, with the line expected to be operational in quarter 1, 2026. Still on the subject of beverage packaging, major supplier in this market, Aurora, saw earnings before interest and tax rise by 26% for financial year 24 in what it says was a transformative year on sales which were up by 9.5%. However, on a like-for-like basis, revenue excluding Saver Glass was down by 7%. The results announcement came amid strong media attention around an unsolicited approach to buy the company from a U- U.S. private equity firm Lone Star, which the company has rejected. Earnings in Aurora's Australian glass business fell as wine consumption dropped, but its booming Australian cans operation produced record volumes and earnings. Aurora says its cans business is in line to grow another 2.5% in the coming year and says glass will remain subdued in the first half of the new year but predicts recovery in the second half. More financial reporting came from Pact Group, which has achieved earnings growth in the financial year to June with underlying EBIT up by 6.4% to 154.6 million from 145.3 million in the prior corresponding period. Sanjay Dial, Managing Director and CEO of Pact, said market conditions were challenging across the year as the company felt the impact of cost of living pressures in Australia and New Zealand and subdued demand from China. Despite these trends, he says the company has grown earnings on the back of a more stable supply chain, proactive cost reduction measures and significant improvements in efficiency. The full year figures came against the backdrop of a nine-month battle by company chairman Rafael Geminda to achieve full ownership of the group, which ended in June and ultimately fell just short. Then to some big acquisition news, Uh, two of the world's biggest end users of food packaging have united in a deal with 54.5 billion US dollars. Global food business Mars is acquiring snacks and cereal giant Kelanova as it looks to double its snacking business in the next decade. All Kelanova's brands, assets and operations, including its snacking brands, portfolio of international cereal and noodles, North American plant-based foods and frozen breakfasts are included in the transaction. Kelanova will become part of Mars Snacking, led by global president Andrew Clark and headquartered in Chicago. Clark said it was an opportunity for the company to build a broader global snacking business. Both companies have significant operations in Australia. Then in a win for smart packaging, Result Group has joined forces with Hungry Jacks for the fourth year running to serve as the technical provider for the Hungry Jacks Uno packaging gamification campaign, which officially kicked off on the 6th of August. Result Group produced mini cards using groundbreaking software and innovative digital printing technology. These cards are designed for gamification and applied to drink cups and fry scoops using the Herma 500 label applicator enhancing consumer engagement through interactive packaging supported by a customized digital platform. The result team collaborated with Multicolor Corporation, that's MCC's team of experts, to achieve the ideal combination of label materials, variable printing and printing techniques to produce the two-layer label design. The first layer adheres securely to the food packaging, while the second layer, the game piece, can be peeled away to reveal the prize.
And finally, we end on some design news, which sees Hypro Pet Foods work with brand identity agency Percept to launch its new pet food brand, Be Frank. The brand name and packaging livery were crafted to highlight transparency and premium quality. The packaging design features a clean cracked word mark and custom illustrations of pets complemented by layered photography style that shows showcases the ingredients in the pet food. Well, that is all from me for this week. For more details on today's headlines and other stories, you know where to go. Head over to packagingnews.com.au. Thank you as ever for watching.